because I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that. No. The Antimatter Legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> after all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? This won't take long. And become so weak. I could only attract this much. Did you really want the entire Legion to come here? This lot won't be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. A Doomsday Beast is also here. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Send it, Silverwolf. Some random coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. 
I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just now? Let me see. Herta's Toys, a catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare items. They've got a lot of interesting gadgets. Like what? There's this gun. It can weight any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Hmm, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it, if it's not too far. What's our destination? Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. And so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. Space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. Just like that. That breathing sensation. Remember it. Just like that. Not a single soul here. 
Impressive. According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the acting lead researcher, a girl named Asta. It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into her to... It seems she really isn't here. Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. The only piece missing is a simple trick. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Our item might be inside. Okay, the stage is yours. I can see the whole space station on the surveillance screen, but not the Stellaron. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. I can't see the memory storage for this terminal. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. Classic. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a master plan? I'm all ears. It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system directly. I see. Herta's collections aren't in the system, so anything unaffected should be our target. Simple, crude, but effective. Look, found it. What's this? Item number 211, Line Spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. So, Herta hides her collection with something as simple as this? The simplest method is the hardest to spot. Isn't that our motto? suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Don't worry, this place won't be our grave. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. It has its own security system. I guess even for Herta, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herta can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count on you with the preparation of the receptacle. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Wanna give her a new name? 
You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but... You will also have many wonderful experiences. You'll meet companions who will treat you like family and embark on surreal adventures with them. At the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? Lovely. Hey, remember what you feel in this moment. As long as you know in your heart where you're heading, you're guaranteed to see the ending of your story. That's the you I like. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. You won't remember a thing except me. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. March, you better do CPR. Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rescue at the request of lead researcher Asta. Back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered there. from the monsters and clear up this mess. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. I need to f Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. Maybe you should 
should bring this. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. This trip won't be a walk in the park. It's better if you have something to protect yourself. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. gadgets. Herta's collection. I really don't get why she'd go out of her way to collect them and then leave them here to gather dust. Uh, it's the Antimatter Legion! So these crazy jerks made it all the way here. My turn! to me. Watch this! Let's make it quick. You're stronger than you look. Seem to be quite the fighter. Right there while I 
give you a present! Let's make it quick. running into me. Let's go. Take this! Try that again! not here. He's like a walking encyclopedia. He knows a ton of complicated stuff. Maybe even elevator repair. Uh, I don't know that one. Whoa! Oh. Why are you here? And how did you get here before us? I took another route to the upper level, and I saw you guys from up there. Arlan is in the control room. He's been injured, but not fatally. You found him? Will he know what to do about this elevator? I suppose as the head of the security department, he should know. Then let's go talk to him. Never heard of it. 
I told you I could fight. Let's go. Step aside. I have no interest in- Let's make it quick. Take this! You couldn't have done it without me. Hey, you're all together? Yep, we're from the Astral Express. Did Madame Herta send you to help? It's just a coincidence. We came to deliver the rare relic Herta trusted us to find. We didn't expect to arrive during an invasion. Why is the Antimatter Legion targeting you guys? It seems they just ignored the surface of the planet and came straight to the space station. I have no idea. The Legion came at a very suspicious time. Almost right after the security system suddenly failed. Lady... Lead researcher Asta immediately began to organize the evacuation. I was supposed to cover everyone as they evacuated, but... I didn't expect to end up failing in this task. Don't be too hard on yourself. Your leg and dominant hand were injured. It was a wise decision to hide here and avoid a head-on encounter with the Legion. Most of the staff have been evacuated safely, so right now our highest priority is to return to the Master Control Zone and plan a counterattack. So, do you know how to use the elevator? I couldn't start it. After the evacuation was complete, the elevators were all shut down to keep the Legion away from the Master Control Zone. Since Lady Asta sent you to look for me, I assume she must have given you the encryption key for accessing the elevator system? She did give me some sort of card. Mm. March. But where did I put it? You... Ah, uh, here it is! Uh. <sighs> now that we found the key, we should get going. We can use that console over there to unlock it. Let's go. Hold on. I only activated the elevator on the highest floor. We'll have to go there to use it. Because I mustn't give the Legion any chance to reach the Master Control Zone by the elevator. I must ensure the safety of the station staff. So I'll have to trouble you to take a bit of a detour. Apologies. Uh-huh. You're not coming with us? My leg is injured. I'd only slow you down. I'll stay here and shut down the elevator once you've made it to the Master Control Zone. You won't slow us down. And you should be able to shut down the elevators from the Master Control Zone. Right? Agreed. She and I made it here safely, and now we've also got Don Hung. We're more than enough to protect you. Let us worry about the Antimatter Legion. You just follow us and keep yourself alive. Thank you.
clemency? Never heard of it. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. This sanctuary is but a vision! No interest in speed. Stop. Watch this. Let's go. You can't stun. Clemency? Never heard of it. You have the worst luck running into me. The repulsion bridge has been shut down? Yes. Just follow the enemy. More or less. <laughs> the truth of life and death, revealed in an endless sanctuary. It's but a vision! I told you I could fight! With me out here, how can we lose? Take this! Clemency? Never a time now. have done it without me. Uh, hey, these shiny things. Are these light cones? I thought only the Interastral Peace Corporation had rare stuff like this. No. Light cones are Garden of Recollection technology. They allow you to carry memories around. Very potent enhancement items. I heard the corporation paid a lot for the usage rights, but I've no idea how Herta managed to get hold of one. They were acquired legitimately. That's all I can say. Take them. They're very useful in combat.
rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Clemency? Never heard of it. to me. With me out here, how can we lose? Let's go. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. Truth of life and death, revealed in an invisible is but a vision. Fight! I told you I could fight. Check out this awesome move. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. You have the worst luck running into. Let's go. Exciting. Anyway, at least you're back. March, Dun Hung, you've been through a lot. Oh, you, Himeko, what took you so long? That last wave of antimatter legion came at us like a swarm of locusts. Have you ever tried shooting locusts with a bow? I wouldn't have made a difference. My orbital cannon can deal with a whole bunch of enemies at once, but I couldn't just blow up the space station with it. Herda would not like that. <sighs> Are you all right, Arlan? Asta's been worried about you. I'm fine. A quick patching up will do. Thanks for asking. I'll report the situation to lead researcher Asta immediately. Bye. You. I'm Himiko, navigator of the Astral Express. In other words, she's in charge of where the Express goes. March hasn't been any trouble for you along the way, has she? Think carefully about how you want to reply to that. Well, that's the joy of youth. We should take every step forward full of energy. She's a discerning one, isn't she, Don Hung? I have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Look at you all. You've already gotten really close. Come on, Asta's been worried about all of you.
radar tracking normal. Telemetry signal frequency unusually high. Maintain at normal levels. Our measurements predict that the Legion is about to unleash over 10 waves of continuous attacks. Everyone, brace yourselves. Asta, we're back. Oh, I'm glad you're all back safe. Arlen just told me about the situation at the storage zone and about his injury. Thank you for all your help. In times of disaster, I realize more and more that the space station's researchers are its most valuable assets. Alas, we were ill-prepared for such emergencies. We should have built up our security and combat departments. But on the other hand, the entire crew of the Astral Express seems to be extraordinarily skilled. What is the current situation on the space station? The situation is under control for now. The damage to our security system was minor. The intruder only managed to alter a small amount of data, so it was easy to fix. The real problem lies with the researchers. They trust Madame Herta wholeheartedly and never thought that the space station would be breached by the Legion. Hmm. A broken spirit is far worse than a broken body. Let's go speak with the researchers. Right now, the space station can't afford any more unexpected turns, especially from within. Have you tried contacting Herda? I sent multiple letters, all met with silence. You know her, Himiko? The space station is but a mere warehouse for followers and rare items. She doesn't really care about it. I knew it. No matter. I'll also send a letter to Herda and tell her that we've brought the rare item she seeks. At least that might get her attention. Oh, that would be of great help. leave the reassurance of the researchers in your hands. If you have any other questions, you're welcome to come to Himiko and me. If only I caught the Antimatter Legion sooner. Oh, I'm fine. This pain is nothing, really. I'm used to it. In fact, I should be proud of it. It's a reminder of being able to protect everyone. <clears throat> but, uh, don't tell lead researcher Asta what I just said. I hope all this chaos will end soon. Push the stick down, Alfred. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got the wrong person. Thanks, kid. We're doing some pre-checks for the satellite remote sensing. I'll hold down the button to monitor the signal, and you push the control stick according to my instructions. But first, let's talk about the controls. Up is the spectrometer, down is the filter, left is the reference level, and right is the attenuator. Our pre-checks have three steps turning on the spectrometer, then the attenuator, 
and finally outputting the signal to the filter. It's quite a bit to remember. You got everything? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Wonderful, thank you. <laughs> that was very helpful of you, kid. Alfred was the researcher in charge of this. He was in the storage zone earlier. He didn't make it back. Abraham was close to him. Uh, I don't know how to tell him about it. The top priority is to preserve the space station and concentrate on the work at hand. from this forsaken... No, it's impossible. I can run from yesterday, I can run from today, but tomorrow will always be one step ahead of me. Look! The obstacle detection terminal has recorded 142,856 attacks. The next count will be 100... I know in my heart that when I see that hopelessly beautiful cyclic number, it will mean the poetic end of my life cycle. How insightful. Yes, of course. The closer you approach death, the more you appreciate life. I will pull myself together. Thank you. That was kind of you. Mind you, that's the Doomsday Beast, the Legion's planet destroyer. The space station is Herta's creation. As long as the Lord Ravager doesn't intervene, there should be no problems. But we can't just run away like this! 
right? The Doomsday Beast can rip off the defense shield like tearing paper. And her does not here. The station- Either way, the Legion has the blessing of the Eon Nanook. They came prepared, and everyone here is not. That's why we have to leave and take her with us. She's that important? She's the one who can help us turn the tides. Of course I may be wrong. Hmm. As you say so. Alright. What should we do next? This is the supply zone where the maintenance crew works. There's a path here that leads to the railway platform. Let's head over there and meet up with Welt. Mr. Yang? Mr. Yang's here too? Didn't he stay on the express? The Astral Express tracks our coordinates in real time. And with such a huge change in the space station's movements, there's no way Mr. Yang wouldn't have noticed. Mm-hmm. I can almost guarantee that your Mr. Yang is already on his way. Right now, we might be able to handle things if it's just the Doomsday Beast, but if the Destruction's Emanator were to appear... Let's hurry up and get out of here. I'll explain later. Burn away! for you. Never heard of it. This sanctuary is but a vision. Let 
Clemency? Never heard of it. Reach the end of the story in your own way. No interest in stoking conflict. The time is now. Never heard of it. My turn. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. I told you I could fight. Watch this. Let's go. Precise machination. Ha! Step aside. I have you have the worst luck running into me. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Clemency? Never heard of it. This sanctuary is but a vision! Stay right there while I give you a present! Let's make it quick. for you. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. The time is now. <sighs> you won't get away! for you. You won't get away! It's too late to repent. Reach the end of the story in your own way. I 
still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. I have no interest in still being caught. Rules are made to be broken. <laughs> Clemency never hurt. Stop! My turn. Watch this! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Is it has to be nearby. Let me go take a peek with my sharp eyes. Wait, march! Huh? Huh? The Doomsday Beast. It's really here. Revealed in an instant, this sensual is but a vision! Ch You've got a lot of nerve! Move carefully. You have the worst luck running into me! Give you a present! Take this! Let's make it quick. We'll try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move! No interest in stoking conflict. With me out here, how can we lose? Try that again. Let's go. Take this. You won't get away. Detailed overhaul. One at a time. Clemency? Never heard of it. Perhaps you still.
still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. The truth of life and death revealed in this sanctuary is but a vision! You have the worst luck running into me! Rules are made to be broken! Precise machinations. No interest in stoking conflict. You won't get away! Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision!
bonds are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Talk somewhere else. <laughs> Is this the space station? Hi. It's good that you've made it through in one piece. You can rest easy now that the threat from the Legion has been neutralized. Well, this invasion seems to be nothing more than a random provocation. As soon as the Doomsday Beast fell, the Legion retreated. I guess I'll leave you to rest up a bit for the time being. By the way, um, what's your beacon address? That way, if anything happens, I can contact you. Go see Himiko when you have the time. She said she had something to discuss with you.
You're awake. I had Marge and Dan Hung stay by the Express to keep an eye on things. It's almost time. She should be arriving any moment now. I've only been gone, what, a few months? And the space station is already in this state? Welcome back, Herda. This is the true master of the space station. Genius Society number 83, Herda. Give me a proper introduction. Genius Society number 83? Of all my outstanding achievements, that's what you want to mention? Yeah, up to speed yet? That place you all turned upside down? That's my property. So, this little twerp has the Stellaron now? Huh. Hmm. I'll have to take a good look. Hmm. Truly amazing! I built a whole space station just to contain this unactivated Stellaron and keep the blue from disaster. Yet someone was able to achieve that with this little twerp's body? How did they do it? Moreover, the Stellaron is still very stable in her body. You're right! This little one's body truly is strange. Uh, you can leave. I'm discussing science with... What, what's her face? Himako? Science exists in objectivity. There's nothing to be secretive about. As far as you're concerned, I think it would be better for you to listen in. After all, I have a lot of plans ahead involving you. Can I bring her in for some research? That's not up to me to decide. You can ask her yourself. Study you, of course. Your body contains a Stellaron, which in some sense is no different than storing a bomb. Who knows what might happen? Maybe it'll blow you to bits someday. You should be grateful that this genius is willing to help you out. I still have some interest now, but once that's gone, I'm not studying you even if you beg me. I'm very interested now. So there's almost nothing I won't accommodate. A Stellaron in your body? How interesting is that? Be grateful that I'm offering to help you out. This is a service even the IPC can't buy. You understand now? Herda wants you to stay in her space station. Well, I'm going to have to modify your wording here. This little twerp can only stay temporarily until the research is done. Or maybe I'll lose interest halfway through and they can just beat it. And after that? Not my problem. You also have another option. The Astral Express. If you want, you can leave with us. The Express has its fair share of experiences with Stellarons. The thing you're worried about and the answers we're looking for are one and the same. Besides, we can come back any time to let her to conduct your research. She's absolutely fascinated now. Hmm. Well, works for me. Keeps this subject fresh, too. And that way, I won't need to keep worrying about this little twerp all the time. <laughs> Perfect. My advice would be to get on. You're not doing me that big of a favor by staying anyway. Just remember to come back often. Make an appointment in advance with Asta or Arlen so I can make time to study you. There's no need to rush into this, Herda. Asta's in the master control zone. Let's let her have a talk with Asta first and decide for herself. I'll be waiting for you on the platform. It's no hurry if you still have things to do or someone to see. Come find me when you've made your decision.
remote control puppets. They're all over the station. I just connect to one wherever I am needed. Enough chit-chat. I am working on a big project with a few colleagues. If we succeed, it will answer the ultimate question that's been puzzling us for thousands of amber eras. The truth about eons. Eons. Think about it. What mystical existences. Some eons used to be ordinary humans like you and me, but somehow they managed to obtain power beyond our imagination. They are mysterious, powerful, silent, and terrifying. It's hard to explain all the mysteries surrounding them. How were they created? Why were they created? What were they created for? Have you ever thought about these questions? To what? Are you even listening to me? We want to solve the mystery behind the eons. Right now, I want you to participate in this project. The four geniuses of the society wrote a program together. You see the big machine in the office? That machine contains a universe. Just like the universe we live in, but it's more streamlined and customized. I call it the metaverse. Oh, really? That's what my partner said as well. Fine. I am a team player. Then let's call it the simulated universe. Now go and experience it for yourself. I will guide you in the simulated universe to make sure nothing happens to you. I'll even give you a substantial reward. to repent. Rules are 
are made to be broken. Let's make it quick. Revealed in an instant, this sanctuary is but a vision! Rules 
are made to be broken. Clemency? Never heard of it. Let's make it quick. Step aside. I have no interest. You have the worst luck running into me. I don't want to be alone. Clemency? Never heard of it. This is our chance. Back up. Step aside. I have time now. 